football Division II game of the week at 8 Eastern, Arkadelphia, Arkansas. Henderson State attempts to run its streak to 23 straight Great American Conference wins as the Reddies play host to Southeastern Oklahoma State. The season's second ranked on rank non conference. Right, thank you, Denise. Oh, it's a night that will go down in Henderson State University history. Tonight's home opener was the very first game broadcast on a national television network. The Henderson Reddies. Yeah, the Henderson Reddies played against Southeastern Oklahoma. The game aired on CBS's sports network. A former Reddy football player says tonight's accomplishment makes him even prouder to be an alumni of HSU. I'm about to bust it to seams, and my phone's been blowing up all day from teammates and, and schoolmates that, that are saying this is the proudest moment in uh, HSU's history. Reddy's won the game 60-17. to 17. Mary's going to have highlights and plenty of them coming up in sports. Thanks for more football now. The Henderson State Reddies take on Southeastern Oklahoma tonight, and you can see the team play in Arkadelphia or... You could watch the game on CBS Sports Network. How about that? 2014 home opener will be the first game in school history to be televised on a national level. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock tonight. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. You know, they beat uh, the team that the Razorbacks beat this past week in right. Nichols or yeah. Nichols State. They like yeah. to be called Nichols. So, congratulations. Henderson State's got a high-powered cool. team there. Very cool. Those also, don't forget the NFL and CBS tonight. To Concerns. Well, it was a big day for Henderson State University. They are showing the nation their team spirit for the first time in the school's history. The Reds football team made their debut on national TV as they took on Southeastern Oklahoma. HSU proud. This game can be seen in millions of homes around the country. We've got Reddy's tailgating with a live band to get them pumped up as well. There's no doubt the football team was eager to step into the national spotlight. They say it gives their university tremendous exposure. Talk to several players. They have lots of family and friends around the country who are hosting watch parties tonight. And this was a dominant performance for the Reddies. The game just went final. They beat Southeastern Oklahoma State by a score of 60 to 17. Great job, Reddies. Awesome. That makes I mean that makes the school and just and the team so excited when they get exposure. And everybody, like that. the yeah, cheerleaders, the band, everybody. everybody was excited. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, sports is coming up next. We're, we're going to head to War Memorial where Pine Bluff and North Little Rock. State University airs on national television for the first time ever. Yeah, and I think all the fans know it, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A live report from the crazy fans. They're good, too. In Arkadelphia coming up. No doubt about it. This football team was eager to step into the national spotlight. <laughs> Several players. They have lots of family and friends around the country who are hosting watch parties tonight. Sean Jones, Henderson State's director of athletics, knows just how tremendous this kind of exposure has on his community. This is really a three, three and a half hour commercial for Henderson State University for us to showcase not only our outstanding student athletes and our football program, but also some of the other great things that are going on here at Henderson State. tradition and tonight you can you can really feel it yes you can definitely feel the spirit out here and just to let you know how excited these fans were the athletic director told me a lot of them actually wanted to watch the game on tv but he told them to dvr it come out here and catch the game all the action in person i'm suzanne bruder i'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio what, if, you, if you can hear me, are, are the Reddies winning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, they are winning right now, 32 to 17. Yay! I can hear you. Believe it or so not. the Reddies are ready. You know what? I was afraid to throw out a question because I didn't think she'd be able to I hear us. I didn't think so but either. That but was good. Hey. I stole your thunder. And Wes, it's all like over here. <laughs> I know. Within the hour, the Henderson State Reddies are making their debut on national TV in the CBS Sports Network. Our own Marlisa Goldsmith live in Arkadelphia where the community showing up to celebrate. Hey, Marlisa. 
Hey, Craig and Dawn. Fans are ready for the readies. It's the home opener, and it's a major game for the kickoff of the season. If you can see behind me, the stands are clear, the field is clear, and that's because rain has picked up here, and we even saw lightning just moments ago. Announcers asked everyone to take cover, but that's not going to stop people from coming out here. Again, today's a big game because it's the first time in HSU history that the game will be nationally televised on CBS Sports Network. I want to walk over here as my photographer pans over to give you a behind-the-scenes look at the CBS Sports Network uh, getting ready to do their open for the show. I have to talk a little bit quieter here because they're getting ready to start. Uh, but as you can see, this is a behind-the-scenes look. History in the making here at HSU. We're going to be here live throughout the show and bring you another live shot here coming up later on in the 6 o'clock show. For now, reporting live at Henderson State University, Marlisa Goldsmith, THV 11 News. Auburn would hold on. Wasn't easy for a 20 to 14 win. Here at home, Henderson State making its first appearance on national TV, the CBS Sportsnet Division II Game of the Week, and they put on a show. First play from scrimmage, and how about this? The Reddy's all everything quarterback Kevin Rogers lays one up for Joseph Snap, and they're going to run down this Van Buren native. Move now, 8 7 Reddy's. A great run. Jaquan Cole turns the corner. He will not be denied. 15 7 Reddy's. Second quarter, it's 18 7. How about Ryan McDonald? This is one rugged tailback. Look at him. Powering his way in, Reddy's led 25-14 at the half. They had a big second half. How big? Look at the scoreboard. 60-17. Rodgers ties a state record with career touchdown pass number 100. Rough night for UAPB as they open.